if you don't know whether or not you have peripheral artery disease, you have to ask your physician to check. And if they don't take your shoes and socks off in the office and feel the pulses in your feet, they're not checking. And, and if they're not asking you how you're walking, they're not checking. That doesn't mean they're a good or bad doctor. There's a lot to worry about, but push them and say um, how you're doing. Be honest. Don't minimize your symptoms. Don't make excuses. It's not okay if you can't walk. You should be able to walk. And so don't, um, you know, a lot of people minimize their symptoms and you have 15 minutes in the office and some people feel bad about, you know, complaining about things. Don't say, I'm having trouble walking. Um, this is important for my quality of life. I can't do what I, I need to do. And, and you know, whether you're exercising or not, we're all human. You do your best. Don't make excuses for that. And that's number one. And number two is really ask them to have a conversation around the benefit risk of the therapy. I think that's true for all medical therapies. Make sure they understand what your comorbidities are. So if you have diabetes, you already have an indication. They're not, you know, and so they, they you know, it's not like, um, uh, they they will say, well, let's wait for the FDA for PAD because you already have an indication for diabetes. And so make sure they understand all the reasons why you could receive the drug. But but most of all, really partner with your physician so that they understand how this is impacting your quality of life. That's so, so important for them to understand.